like something for something. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, and is it's it real word? Yeah, yes. it's used in law to like refer to like it's a boat. It's quid pro quo. It's one word. Quid pro quo. Did you want Cicero? The thing's under Paris. Things under what? Paris. Contact three two one catacombs. Things in your eyes. Cool, make it hard to see. Things in your eyes, not in your eyes. Mom, you just spoiled it. Yeah, it ruins the game. And everyone must remain seated until the boosters land about eight and a half minutes after launch. This is crazy. This is us just venting out the boiled off liquid oxygen at the liquid. Stage two lock load is complete. Okay, the second stage of lock loading is completed. That's the last of the fuel loads. Expect the uh, lights to go off. There they are. Again, those white clouds that you see around the vehicle are normal. That's us venting out the liquid oxygen that has boiled off of the liquid surface out into the ambient air. Once that cold liquid oxygen meets that warm ambient air, it basically condenses just as you would see water condensing around a cold glass of water. The next event coming up will be Falcon Heavy in startup. That's at the T minus one minute mark. Ground gas, close up. Okay, standing by for the flight computer to take over. And now that we have finished propellant loading, we are also clearing out the liquid oxygen line on that transporter erector, and that's why you see a little bit more of those white clouds there on your screen. And at the T minus one minute mark, Falcon Heavy will be in startup. This is an autonomous vehicle, so the internal flight computers will take over the launch countdown. Falcon Heavy is in startup. Great news, there's that call out that Falcon Heavy is in startup. Now just waiting for the final call from the launch director. This is the mission director. Go for launch. Oh. All systems are oh. go for launch of Falcon Heavy with USSF 52. <laughs> Okay, the general will have about another uh, 20 seconds or so to go. Again, don't look at the TV, look at the pad. <laughs> Shoot, I'm not ready. I gotta put my hood on so I don't hear the loud bang. Will I still hear it, Dad? Oh, sorry. I can look at the because you don't want to see yourself.
thermocline. It's where the atmosphere changes temperatures. will go on for a couple more seconds and burn out. For those people that don't are not physicists and don't deal with pounds of thrust, for you other folks, what you saw is 109 million horsepower. Wow. Wow. So we do it have looks two like the moon. coming up like here. The, they look identical. That's the moon. And that will be a booster yeah. engine cutoff, or BECO, separation of the side boosters, wow. followed by side booster boost back burn startup, and then the center core main engine cutoff, or MECO. Side booster separation, that'll be the separation from the center core. The center core will continue to carry stage two with the payload until it... Okay, what you're going to see now, look at the vehicle. Now you can look at the uh, screen. If you look at the screen on the right-hand side, that is cameras on the vehicle. Now very shortly, the, super, the boosters on both sides are going to begin to separate. So take a look at the screen. You'll be able to see a close-up view of that. Coming up on Miko and Biko. A few seconds here. That Biko is the booster engine cutoff. So look at the screen and you'll see them separate from the rocket. And there they go. Okay, you look at the little dot. See the little dot coming down? You'll see two of them. Those are the two boosters. Okay, right now it's uh, three minutes, two seconds into the flight. In uh, five and a half minutes, those boosters will be landing here. Now you might lose sight of them. They're doing a, they'll do a small boost back burn. They'll do a few burns, okay? The landing area is far to your right, okay? It'll be very close to that vehicle assembly building. Again, you'll uh, see them, uh, they'll disappear from view. Uh, that shouldn't concern you. You see them up there above the rocket, okay? The rocket's the lower part, the two boosters higher up, okay? Making their way back to the space center. Now on the screen, on the left, you see the main booster still on its way to orbit. On the right hand side, the two boosters that are making their way back to Earth. Again, of the vehicle assembly building, uh, close to the constellation Orion, which is up there. And you'll see a bright star. There it is, right above us. Here's the second one. And okay, they're going to be heading towards that area there, their boost back burn. They'll shut down again and then light up before the landing. What is the boom? Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Okay, they'll have a final burn. That'll be the final boost back burn. If you look at the TV screen now, uh, you can see the delay, okay? It shows them still firing, and you can see with your own eyes they're not. So again, it's about a 20 second delay tonight. The last burn, again, will be very visible. And again, look towards that vehicle assembly building. That's where they're heading. Again, 11 miles from here at landing zone one and two. You might have missed it. And that sonic boom will follow, and uh, that will be definitely as loud as the launch. <laughs> we do have one more burn for each of these side boosters coming up be? in just about I'm 30 scared. seconds. That is the landing burn. It's a single engine burn for each booster. And just one engine is powerful enough to slow the vehicles down and safely land back on. Oh! Okay, that's, so get ready now. Uh, they'll be landing on zone, landing zone one. Wow. Get ready for that sonic boom. Again, it's 11 miles away. It'll take about 50 seconds from the time they went subsonic. So stand by for that double sonic boom. Screen the engines reignited. Landing one deployed. Let's watch as the side boosters touch down for landding. Stage two is internal guidance. 